How's it going everyone? Hope you're having a great day so far. It's me, Chronic, back with another Fallout 76 video for you all. Today I'm going to be showing you all an easy aluminum farm that you can run pretty quickly that grants you around 100 aluminum per run. As you can see, there's a lot of items that can be scrapped for aluminum, but for the first part of this video, we're going to be focusing on ski poles as they give two aluminum each when scrapped. So we'll get started by heading over to the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. It's right next to the top of the world, and here you're going to find so many ski poles. Be careful because there are quite a lot of scorched, I just kind of cleared them out first. After we've looted the location that I just showed you, just kind of down in the lower lodge, we're just going to run in a circle around the base of the top of the world, and there's a few ski racks here as well. After we've circled the base uh, below the top of the world, we're going to head up the elevator to the mezzanine level. Now there aren't too many ski poles up here, they are in specific locations, but there are going to be so many scorched when you get up here. Just for the purposes of the video, I did go ahead and clear it out. But if we'll just follow along, uh, there are a few wrecks up here and you might as well just go get those as well. Now that we farmed 80 aluminum just from ski poles, we're going to head over to the abandoned mineshaft 1 just west of the AMS testing site and southwest of the rusty pick. Instead of looting ski poles this time, we're actually going to be looting aluminum veins. You'll need the excavator armor ideally as it quadruples your aluminum yield. Once we're in our power armor, we're going to head down to the southwest side of this cliff. 
There are going to be four aluminum veins down here, and each one of these are going to yield four ore for us since we're using the excavator armor. Then after we've looted these, we're going to proceed back up the hill and then past this little warehouse. Be careful as you're coming around this circle, this uh, hole here, as if you get close to that big shiny thing, you're going to take a crazy amount of radiation. Now we've got six more aluminum veins right here. That's going to boost us up to 24 more ore. Then we're going to go up this cliff. If I can actually make it up here. Yep. And we're going to be looking for this little, uh, this rock kind of poking out right here. There's going to be four more aluminum veins. We're kind of at the like northeastern side of the, the mini map point. Now that we're done extracting aluminum, we're going to head over to our camp and visit a chemist workbench. But first we're going to make sure that we have the super duper perk equipped as it gives you a 30% chance to craft an additional item at level three. But once we open the chemistry station, we are going to go down to the smelting tab and then select aluminum scrap. It is going to require two acid per craft along with your three aluminum ore. So we're crafting 18. So we're at least going to get 36 aluminum scrap from this, but we'll see how much additional scrap we got from just having that super duper perk on. It's a moment of truth. We're going to go over to our junk tab. Okay, so we got 42 scrap from that. So we just got an additional six scrap, which is really better than nothing. I'm just going to go ahead and just put it in my deposit box. But overall, we got 122 aluminum scrap from this run, and that is actually like a really good amount. Now, if you wanna do this loop over and over, you might wanna check out my video that I uploaded recently on how to reset the loot in your world. Uh, that's really beneficial if you don't wanna stop farming, you just wanna keep the train rolling. Well. We made it to the end of the video. If this video helps you, feel free to give it a like, maybe even subscribe to my channel and go down to the comment section and tell me what you'd like to see next. Well, as always guys, thank you so much. This has been Chronic and I will see you in the next one.